the true story of the three little peas by a wolf. Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least, at least they think they do. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander T. Wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole Big Bad Whoop thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault. Wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. They, that's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think we were big and bad too. But like I was saying, the whole big bad work thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back in once upon a time time, I was making a birthday cake. For my dear old brain. I had a terrible sneezing cold. I ran out of sugar. So I walked down the street to ask my neighbor for a cup of sugar. Now the neighbor was a pig and he wasn't too bright either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind will build a house of straw? So of course, the minute I knocked on the door, it fell right in. I didn't want to just walk into someone else's house. So I called, little pig. Little pig, are you in? No answer. I was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. That's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed and a sneeze, hachu, a great sneeze. And you know what? The whole darn straw house fell down. And right in the middle of the pile of straw was the first little pig dead as a door nail. He had been home the whole time. It seemed, it, it seemed like a shame to leave a pretty good ham dinner laying there in the straw. So I ate it. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just laying there. This is crazy. I was feeling a little better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar. So I went to the next neighbor's house. This neighbor was the first little pig's brother. He was a little smarter but not much. He had built his house out of sticks. I rang the doorbell on the street, the stick house. Nobody still didn't answer. I called Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away, Wolf. You can't come in. I'm shaving the hair on my chinny chin chin. I had just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed hot juice, 
a great sneeze. And you're not going to believe it, but the guy's house fell down just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was a second little pig dead as a doorknob. Wolf's honor. Can you imagine the wolf being honest? Now you know food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the right and only thing there was to do. I had dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. I was getting awfully full, but my cold wasn't feeling a little better. And I still didn't have the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the next house. This guy was the first and second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He had built his house a brick. I knocked on the brick house, no answer. I called Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, are you in? And do you know what? The rude little pig answered. Get out of here, Wolf. Don't bother me. That was rude. Talk about impolite. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar. He wouldn't give me even one little cup for my dear sweet old granny's birthday cake. What a pig. I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake. When I felt my cold coming on again, I huff and I sniff and I sneeze once again. Hot you! The little, little pig yelled. And your old granny can sit on a pen. Look at that angry pig right there. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm usually a pretty calm fellow, but when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little crazy. When the cops drove up, and of course I was trying to break down the pig's door, and the whole time I was huffing and puffing and hot you sneezing and huffing and puffing and out of breath and was making a real scene because I was just sneezing, wasn't feeling well. The rest, as they say, is history. The news reporters found out about the two bigs I have for dinner. They figured a sick guy is going to borrow a cup of sugar. Didn't sound very exciting. So they jazzed it up, the story, with all of that huffing and puffing and blowing your house down. And they made me the big, bad wolf. That's it. The real story, I was framed. And there you have it.